Hi, in this video I want to talk to you about how to add images and to optimize images when you're putting together blog posts. So you can see I've already logged into my account. I click here on Write to Think and that takes me inside our course blog. As I've shown you before, I click on Posts and I'm going to go down and find my name. It's going to be down near the bottom or relatively near the bottom. Some of you have added in since I have. Where am I? There I am, Jim. And now it'll just call it My Posts, right? So these are the posts we've seen before in my earlier emails. I'm sorry, er earlier lectures. So <clears throat> let's look at what's happening now. Um, let's go into the drug dealer post and imagine that I want to find and insert an image. So let's say I just want uh, let's, uh, a picture to kind of highlight the topic that I'm looking at. I could do something as simple as a search for drug dealer and images of drug dealers and I can go to the images option here and I can just find an image that I want to use. I think this is one that I actually have used during the course before. Now I take that image and in Mac, uh, I'm sorry, I don't need to do it from here. I can do it from there, but I'm, I'm, I'm in that image and in Mac I can just drag it, but in a PC you want to save image as and you're going to save it to your desktop and make sure it has a clear name. So I've saved this image over on my desktop and now I'm going to go back into uh, TypePad into my post and I'm going to add the image. Now a good place to start is to just put the image in the upper left hand corner. You can put it in a lot of different places. You're going to click on this little image icon and it's going to give you an option to choose a file. I'm going to choose the drug dealer file. I'm going to click open and now I could just click insert the image and it would automatically do it through a set of defaults but I like to customize things a little bit because it gives me more options um, and so some of the things I like to do is I like to start off at medium or small size uh, usually I go to small because I can always make it larger and I like to what's, do, what's called float the image which means the image appears on the left side but the text is wrapped around it which is which is really kind of cool um, I don't do the pop-up window thing and then I'm gonna click and I'm gonna do insert image it may take a long time if you're working on a home computer to do this but just to see how it looks I'm gonna scroll down and preview and let me pull this over to where we can see there you go and there you see how it works nice little image ta-da remember that we want to give credit where credit is due so somewhere on our post we're gonna put information about where we got that image so let's see if we can do that alright so I could do something as simple as type in image source at the very end of my post after I've done everything I'm gonna go back to the page and I notice that says I visit page I can now visit the page where the image was um, and I can select uh, the, the, the button oh that's interesting Vos is Neias that sounds like uh, Hebrew I guess right so uh, I'm going to put in I'm going to put in the name of the site I hope I got that right and I'm going to select it right and now we go back to creating a link I'm going to go in, I'm going to post, uh, t t paste in my address, I'm going to give it a title, drug dealer image, I'm going to put open in a new window, so we're getting to review our link method, and there we go, and I just, this just goes at the bottom after I've put in my whole post, right? Now, here's the thing, once I've sourced my image, once I've basically put it in, I can actually play with it quite a bit, and if you double, double click on the image, it calls up an image editor, which will allow you to do some interesting things. You can make it bigger, you can enhance it, uh, let's see what enhance does. Um, go, ooh, let's, let's try a, a color fix. What does that do? Not much. What about illuminate? Ooh, that's bad. Get rid of that. Uh, high def? That makes it a little clearer. Okay. Um, then I can put a border on it if I want. I can do like a two pixel border and I can pick uh, a color. So I got to go in here and pick a color. I'm going to pick black. Uh, or I could put red if I wanted to just to see something different. Click in there. Uh, and then I can play with the formatting, right? I can move the image over to the right. And I could make it medium size. So I can do a lot of different things to format it. And then I go up here and I click Apply. And all those things are applied to it. And now I click Save. And the new image 
is uh, formatted and saved. And again, this can be slow, especially if you're working at home. Oh yeah, that didn't come out good. Let's see, let's see what, oh there it is, good. So now it's bigger and it's got a red border. I, I don't really think a red border looks good. I'd probably try blue or orange or black, but just to show you, you could do a border. And if you go to preview, you can see it's gonna have a different look now. Um, and the image is bigger, and there's my image source, Vos Isnais, and I can go and that takes me to the page. So those are some of the important things that you can do with an image, right? You can load it in, you can customize it before it's uploaded, and once it's uploaded, you can double click on it and do lots of other things with it again. So those are some of the basics of finding and posting an image. Oh, one, let me show you one other quick thing. You can also put a caption under your image so um, I guess we'll say Israeli drug dealers. No, I don't know if that's true. I'm just kidding. Uh, Jewish drug dealers. <laughs> I don't know. So uh, drug dealers in action. The the problem with this is I haven't really figured out a way to make that a link. So it's cool that it puts in the caption, um, but it doesn't link it. And now, see, this is sometimes something that happens. It's just kind of slow, and you have to wait for things to pop up, and uh, sometimes you get sort of hang-ups. And uh, that's, that's a bummer. So I'm going to just cancel these changes. And then I might try to re-click and go in and do it again later. But in general, it works with some glitches. If you get hung up, you just cancel out and try again. So let me see if we can make that work. Uh, give it a while to call up the image. That's, I think, the main problem here. Um, doesn't seem to want to call up the image. And if it doesn't call up the image, it's not letting me change it. So probably what I'd have to do here is log out, log back in, and I don't want to spend your time in the video doing that. But you do have that option of double clicking and going into that edit menu to help make changes. So there's some basics of working with images. Hope that information is helpful.